Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Evil Extreme here. Here we are for a new mod map tour and oh boy, what a classic and what a throwback. We're on Ravenport 22 by Sadabuki. It is 821.71 megabytes to download, it's available on all platforms, PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox One, Series X and S. And yeah, for those who aren't familiar, for those who haven't played FS19, this was the base game map on Farm Simulator 19, FS19. And yeah, this is such a classic map to play on. If you play FS19, you did the like, tutorial option on here. And yeah, so what I'm going to do first of all is read the mod description because this is it for the in depth. I will be doing a video after this comes out, so. I'm recording this at 10 to 11 on Friday, so this will be out sometime Saturday early night, morning, and as long as I'm awake and that, I'll do a guide to all the productions and that, because since it's Celebuki, there are a lot of custom productions on here, so yeah, here is the mod description as follow. Welcome to Ravenport 22, this is a conversion of the Ravenport base map from FS90, Try to keep saying Ravenport look, but with new and improved textures, lighting. One of the additions is that there is a lot of factories that, after you buy them, you can sell them and remove from the map, give you a useful piece of land you can use for something else. Also, the trade, of course, has changed a bit since FS19 to follow the FS22 standards, so you can use the train to sell your goods and wood to Alma, Missouri. We'll look at that in a bit. This is a standard sized map, so 2x, so 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. Here you can build your game as you want, arable, productions, forestry, and all, or all those. The main farm is equipped with pre-placed farm buildings, along with cow and sheep barns, along with a chicken barn. On the map, you'll find 26 fields from small to big, 3 which are grass missions, 2 sites of forestry, collectibles, BGA, traffic positions, and more paintable terrain textures. Scroll down here. There are some pre-placed productions available. So we've got the dairy, sawmill, carpentry, bakery with three new products, cornbread, sweet cornbread, and pumpkin pie. Also got a oil mill, sugar mill, and a grain mill, which will take your corn as well to get corn flour, which can be sold to your local bakery or to make cornbread. We've got the corn dryer to dry the corn, which you can later on sell at a higher price than ordinary corn, or deliver it to a mill for further processing. We're going to need propane gas to dry the corn, which you can buy at a local gas station. For transport propane, you can use the tanks that come with the map and locate in the miscellaneous section. We'll look at that as well in a bit. The BGA, that will not produce electricity, but will produce methane, or methane, that you'll be able to collect and sell at the local gas station where the methane cell point is. Also, there are some placeable productions available. We'll have a look at those as well. So yeah, we've got greenhouses with new fruits, apples, oranges, lemons, pineapple, and pumpkins. The juice factory with products such as apple juice, orange juice, lemonade, and pineapple juice. If sugar is not your favorite job, you can buy it at the local store, but at a much higher price. There are also herbicide, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer and lime tanks available to be placed in the container section. Also, there is a fermented soil where you can store your grass, dry grass, chaff, and silage, along with methane gas and digestate. Cell points are the livestock bell cell point at Animal Deer Barn Store. Correction error. Grain elevator west and ranch to take your grains and root crops. Restaurant, beet restaurant, and water tower cell points will take your other goods. There are also a train that will ship your goods and wood to Alma. In addition to this, there are added deep snow feet weather, a custom crop roof candor, added snowy roads when it snows, and wet asphalt during rain. Man, that is a mouthful, but it is worth it. And as we go around, you'll see why it's such a big size, like 821 megabytes. That's only 60 megabytes less than Court Farm. So here we are. We're on the bottom right corner of the map. 
for those familiar with the map, this does have a lot of similarities, but also there's difference like up here in the top right corner there is some significant differences like for example the train on FS90 went along here, up here and rather than just peter out here it continued all the way around to the beach and slash harbour and then join the track and follow it back down. But yeah, so here we are on the farmer mode. You start with three plots of land. So got plot 46, which has plot 47 attached to it. Also plot 38. So you got four decent sized fields to start off with. Also on FS19, this used to be the animal deer ship sell point to sell your bells and that. But now that has to be converted into your sheep barn and cow barn. So we'll have a look at those in terms of capacities and just a general detail. And in terms with your starting equipment, so in terms with slot cow, not sure if I already said this, but I will reiterate if I haven't. On new farm remote is 1439 slots. On New Farmer or Start From Scratch, it goes down to 1,168. And yeah, here you are. We start off with the following. So for small tractors, we've got the Case Maxim CVX 115. For medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 7810. The Massey Ferguson 3670. For your harvesters, we've got the Deutz Far Top Liner 49H, along with the appropriate header and header trailer. Also got the pickup 1986. We got a Welger DK115 trailer. Got a small horse Toronto 3FX cultivator. A Nordstein HK25 and NS3030 cedar. And nicely, we start off with a Kuhn VB3190 round baiter. And two 10 Wackel Pack 750. So 750 kilogram weights. And yeah, so if we go into build mode. Yeah, so this does really reminiscence of FS19. But the difference is, all you can see here, all these buildings can be sold. So, first of all, one thing I want to check, something that we don't really see on FS22 is yes we can enter the house so shut the door so here we are we'll have your seat trigger and also here we'll have your wardrobe and yeah none of these doors are functional but that's what matters got a decent tv good kitchen and that so yeah let's go and leave this there we go so yeah we've got like some buildings that so I know not all of them are functional, so for example, I think this one here is purely decorative. However, many of these barns weren't. I actually know none of them were in FS19, so with this barn here, these two doors work. This one doesn't, so open my help menu. I'll leave that open for the remainder of the map tour. Nothing, but these two will work just fine. And we'll hop into our pickup. Oh, actually, no, we just need to shut that one. So we can drive straight out of here. So, yeah, if we pull out of here, we're going to be using this for the map tour. So, yeah, that can be sold. And we head over here. Also, I'm going to turn on, yep, interactive zooms and that. And, yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, okay, so yeah, some minor bugs I've already noticed. You can walk straight through this building. But again, most maps do need an update or two upon release. I am assuming. Yeah, that one is non functional. But we do have the big red barn up here. Yeah, and again, these are decorational, so the old wooden ones are purely decorative, but 
There's nothing inherently wrong with that. So yeah, you've got your big red cow barn. And these can be found under placeable as well. And also over here, you've got your big American flag. You also have an option for another flag. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Got your shed for your equipment, your green silo, and your Massey Ferguson. And actually, perhaps I could have been a bit more smooth out with the terrain. Yeah, I haven't really compared that to FS19, but was that such much of a slump there? Or sleep? I'm not sure, but yeah, so if we go into build mode, so under landscaping, we've got our texture, so we've got your basic ones here. Then also got different kind of grass textures, so got one here, another one here, so slightly different. There we go, got the gravels. Concrete, gravel, dirt. Well, that's sister, but that's like your sand and that for the beach. Because you can go and purchase, I'll say about 95% of the map, so fill prices are reasonable. So, like our two plots of land, 300 grand in total, same seven grand for the cow barn area. But yeah, for like some of these areas you're looking at. 75 to 100 grand for just get you know yourself started off with 50 grand and when you go to your bigger fields like field 14 or field 8 but plot 14 606 grand 338 to 50 405 406 but yeah you even purchase some of these areas up here if you can't purchase is the hills here but that I am fine with. Can even purchase the beach and that so can have some real creative ways of getting around. So and then I'm going to add some money in a sec because even though I'll do a video on all the production chains in detail, I will go around and purchase them and show you folks during the map tour. And I will try to leave timestamps down below. So if you want to come back later on and have a look at certain aspects, then feel free to. So bear with me a sec. So there we go. We've got some money in. So first of all, we'll start looking down here because one thing that I did enjoy in FS19 was the waterfall feature. And there is a little hut up there and I'm sure there's a way around. Yep ready to cheat our way up here but yeah like the waterfall feature alright so I don't think we can go that way if we have a look here on the PDA no we cannot but yeah just the aesthetics was nice can you even go cannibal it's not overly deep war so that was sure broken our legs but yeah so what we'll do is come out of here, head down here, and then we'll head to the dealership area. And we'll go around in a clockwise direction, purchase all the productions as we're going along. Oh yeah, actually no, I forgot. Not just the ground textures I showed, we just need to show everything else. So, under sheds, so you've got your barns here that you can purchase. Also, you've got the Ravenport silo. There are no extensions. Under containers, you've got your purchasable points here. So, got your lime, herbicide, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer. But no seed purchase point, but, oh, uh, to be honest with mods, we've got. Can get away with that. Got your house for 150 grand. Under productions, under factory. So if we go to the end, we've got the fermenting silo. And the good thing about by Sir Buki is he did not make this a requirement mod to download on his own map. I have seen so many maps recently where the map is by a map maker, 
they've used our own assets but rather than like do what normal people do like Sabuki and make it part of the map makes it as a requirement mod to download which absolutely rakes me it does so yeah you've got your juice factory for 40 grand we'll have a look at those in another video as I've mentioned under cell points got your basic basic cell points nothing else Greenhouses, so you got your three basic ones here, small, medium, large. Got your fruit greenhouse, so that will get your lemons, apples, oranges, and pineapples. Then for your modded large greenhouse, normal base game stuff, along with pumpkin, so that does. So that one there requires some manure for the fruits, but not for the other, so yeah, not too bad. Orchards, nothing. Generators, nothing. The government subs is what I use for my map tours. Under animals, you got your cow barn that holds 150 cattle. Under horses, you got your little horse ranch. For 100 grand, that holds 16 horses. No custom pig pens. Got your sheep barn that could hold 300 sheep for 50 grand. Nice. We do have a chicken coop here, but for some reason it hasn't been made as a placeable. And also, you can sell. Alright, so you can't sell the junk. The junk is part of the pasture, so be careful of that. And that holds 500 chickens. Bees, nothing. Others, nothing. Under de decorations, so fences, if you have a look. Got your base game stuff, and nothing else. No custom lights. And under other, so you got your American flag. And for some reason, you got your Bosnian flag, so. Whether that's because Sabuki is from Bosnia, I'm not sure. But yeah, again, something different. And yeah, so we've done landscaping, yes. Any custom trees to put down? I doubt it. Nor for plants, so... There we go. So yeah. Now I've wasted... Not wasted, i spent some time... Just looking around everything, looking at what you get in that term for productions and placeable so yeah let's start off with heading up here and actually let's head across so oh this one for you loving FS19 weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
So yeah, where you can purchase and sell every so. Go and purchase this for 60 grand. Not too bad. And recipes look relatively standard actually. No, that is surely slightly higher, is it? Looks a little bit higher. Yeah, it does. Compared to your base game. So yes, go and purchase this first area. So we are here. So let's go and purchase 36. And yeah, so if we go and say sell all this, that get rid of the entire production and with some landscaping you can get creative and actually that is a decent size area and as you go under our productions yeah that, that is the thing to be aware of is once you sell these they are gone you can't pur purchase them again so be warned on that that would be my advice to you folks, so we head down here and again a lot of nostalgia, like yeah I did play FS19 on release I got into it around, was it 2020 or so when it was on the Playstation Store for free but yeah, I just remember getting stuck on these annoying lamp posts of as I typically do now, sometimes, like with No Man's Land, using unrealistic capacity equipment and getting stuck on the post. So we've got our fuel station here, and also that's our methane cell point here. That's gas station, your methane cell point. Also got your water tower cell point. So. Actually, if you have a look at our cell points, so yeah, like your water tower cell points will take most stuff. And yeah, just look at some of these prices. I'm not sure what the recipes are, but productions are definitely going to be worth it on this map. And that's one thing I look forward to is doing that also about guide video, so that'll be out sometime Saturday. Hopefully, before the F1 race, so yeah. Here we are at the deer ship, so let's say, oof, you want to say purchase some equipment. They will spawn here, and it can go around to down here, where we've got our workshop trigger. So workshop trigger is here, with a huge boxy area. So yeah, that is the store. Just down here, you've got your bakery. So yeah, we're going and have a look at this. So yeah, basically bakery. Purchase that. So yeah, got your base game stuff. So yeah, for your bread, normal flour and that. But you can use your corn flour to get cornbread. Normal recipes for cakes. Pumpkin pie, apple pie, are the same as the cakes, just slight variation. So, place the strawberries for pumpkins and apples. And you can get your sweet cornbread uh, for actually quite reasonably reasonable rate that is. And actually, if we go to our mods, obviously you got your tankers, similar base game price in that. But the difference is, they will take methane. And what's that other one we'll have a look at? But yeah, here is the sugar in that. So, £6,000 for a thousand litres. Yes, there are mods where you can get this for a lot cheaper than that, I know. But anyway, so that is this section down here done. Let's say it's continue one out here. Head down to the dry corn or the corn dryer, and then we'll head on up. And yeah, we'll continue on the rounds. And as I've mentioned before, I will leave timestamps on key areas where we are. So head out of here. 
National Square on the map. There we go. Don't run someone over, please. Ignore the stop signs, because I don't follow traffic rules. And yeah, that's our corn drive facility over here. So yeah, that's where you'll put your methane in. Just there to the left, so go and purchase it. Oh, propane, that's it. Doi. So yeah, corn and propane. And it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio, just a little bit of propane for the fuel. And again, you can sell this. So, to sell, I think you actually do need to purchase the land. So, what purchase field 40? So, if you want to sell the bakery that, you need to own the land right. Oh, for some reason, can't. Now, going round, so you can't sell the corn dryer. We do own this right, yeah, I purchased it, so. Landscaping, delete, demolish that. Yeah, pressing X to remove, I see on the top left. So, yeah, that is one error we can't sell. Actually, can we sell the bakery? I'm assuming so, yes. So I'll get rid of the benches as well. Actually, can we purchase this air down here? Because that would be a good air for a field in that. Yeah, that comes with that. So you can imagine that quick, a nice little field. But anyways, that is the dried corn factory. And we'll come out of here, turn left, and head up the coast. So yeah, we'll actually take a little detour for a sec. Go to the beach. And uh, hopefully they'll get run over by a train. And in typical Celebuki fashion, the map boundaries does blend well together. And ooh, that's a that is a deep slope, that is. A sheer literal cliff face to the beach. Wouldn't head down there quite yet. I think there is a whale somewhere. So yeah, head back up to the road. And here we are at our next production area. And this is the sugar mill. So you can do sugar. Normal recipes, I think, by the looks of it. 24,000 litres a month, that looks about right. And that does. Is that the base game sugar mill? No, oh, it can't be. I'm sure it's something different. Yeah, I know I'm stopping here and there, but this is going to be an in depth map tour. Oh no, it is the base game. Just without the uh, label on the front. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, they'll area of here, that's just decorative. So yeah, next what we'll do is head up north, got our oil mill, and yep, yeah, if it ain't custom productions, I am pretty sure these are all basking recipes and that. So go and purchase it. Yep, yeah, but nothing new. Same recipe actually same that. Yeah, that is the same production rate per month, so... As we head up north... I won't be stopping, or like showcasing productions... Unless it's the custom one, so you've got your carpentry and that up here, sawmill... I had a lot of fun doing logging up here and that, so... Let's go and head up there. So as we head down here, so we headed down from the road up there... We've got your beach cell point. And also got your harbour and that, like your pier. And I'm sure if we find a collectible, it's gonna be up here and... Actually, how many collectibles are there? 20, so most likely it's gonna be the game cartridges. Yes, yeah, go see if I can find a cell... Oh no, yep. Yeah. 
not fine cell point they courage so yeah 50 grand each so that is a million I'm not going to show you all these collectibles and that so yeah that is that and yeah we'll figure out a way to get back up here if you continue down the road down there that will lead you up and around to near the top but a off the main beat track here at the railway yard and a hop and skip yeah this is going to be one of your silos so you've got a huge store grain so if you don't have a silo to start off with you can just store your grain here so railway ports yeah rent train is here and where is the train at the moment? Ah, it's just gone past. Actually, is that tr it's the train, the same one from FS19. Yep, it is the same train from FS19. Again, so many fans I've had with that train with getting hit so many times. So yeah. Anyways, we're head up and around. Head straight up here, cut across. I'll head up to Sawmill and your carpentry area. And yeah, that is similar to FS19. Oh, obviously, yeah, a lot of these are going to be the same, if not slightly different. Yep, same production rates and that. So we'll turn around. trigger area there so it's not your typical basically one it's a slight tweak to it which I can't appreciate the work Celebuki does on these maps and I'm assuming this is gonna be your sawmill yep that's gonna be sawmill to make your planks and then next we'll head up north so yeah, we're done down here, and then next we'll head up to the dairy plant, so yeah, out of here, along the side road here, and yeah, so we're heading up here, heading across one off a few river crossings, and yeah, we'll have, uh, I'll try to have a look down there like, there is so much of this map to look at. Not only just reminiscence in nostalgia, but also just there are some like nice areas to look at. So that's your dumping area over there. Got your trigger point here. So, and yep, yeah, basic same rates of production. And this is one of our big fields, so field four. Huge field, so we'll head up north, so yeah, if we say head around to the top of the map and then we'll start coming back down head to the horse area and that head to the train silos and then we'll head back up to the grain elevator and then down to the bga but yeah for those who haven't played raven porn fs19 you have m missed something and that's not me being biased, that's just me being genuine, like, with FS19, it looked so good back in the day, and Celebuki has certainly done the map justice, so, I'm guessing this is a, another cell point up north, because it's not connected to the train track, so yeah, Green Elevator West, because this used to be where the train went across. Yeah, you used to come across on top of here. See, so, yeah, you had the road here, and yeah, the train went along here, I think. Actually, no, I think it went up north. I can't... Man, I need to re-download the FS19 to have a look, but... Yeah, I swear it went looped around, because with trains in FS19, with how me had many other content creators did our map tours back in the day, was... Where possible use the train so here we'll have your armor cell point so once you get around on the train 
that will get you boozes off here as it goes through the tunnel. And yeah, try to go through it. Can I break it? No, uh, no. Herbert Sabuki can break through the map. At least with minimal effort, so. We're going to head up here, cross and around. And then, yeah, we we'll head towards the uh, dam area. And yeah, this is going to be like some of the forestry area you can have. Yep, yeah, may not be many super dense trees, but they are dense enough. And how much are these areas? So yeah, get a small loan for uh, I'll say about two hundred grand by the time you consider like the machinery in that. And yeah, you can make tons of money from that, especially if you want to go take out a slightly bigger loan. And yeah, get the productions for it. So here we are at the dam. And one thing I used to love on FS19 was jump down here, but no, oh, dang it, you can't. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, uh, yeah. Breaking the map slightly, yeah. Well, not breaking the map, but yeah, certainly getting stuck like hell there. Maybe it was through onto that side, but that's been like by FS22 Sanders, like the level of detail now, like it's crisp, it's sharp. Production hasn't just been locked down like with some maps we've seen recently. Oh uh, yeah, I met yeah, I sorry I mentioned that on Quebec countryside. But yeah, I generally do mean that, like there are some maps, I don't need to see particular maps now. Or what the maps are, but yeah, certain maps do have a habit of just whacking down productions. And here we are, this used to be the horse area, right? I swear this used to be the ranch area. So if we go to our PDA. Oh yeah, it yeah. Ranch. I was remembering correctly. Uh, these proofs I still have some of my faculties. So yeah, next what we'll do is continue along here, have a look around here. So yeah, you got your horse paddock down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all off. Yeah, so having a look, see I've missed anything. Can't purchase the BG land directly. Can you? Nope. But yeah, so go and hop back into the pickup. And yeah, head down to the horse paddock area and have a little look at that. And this is going to be a quick cut in because I forgot to show one of the best parts about this map. If anything, the best part of the map. Literally, where you start from your humble abodes down the hill. So if we have a little peek, this is where you start off with. All the way down there. And, yeah. Work your ass off. Work hard. And you can have this, potentially. The Spanish mansion. So, if we open our box here, so yeah, yeah, how I forgot about show you the Spanish mansion, so yeah, it is a huge area to have, purely decorative, but get creative, and you can sell this for £184,000, yep, I leave you with a nice little courtyard area, surprised there's no collectibles here, but so yeah, that is a quick interlude after I've just done the map tour, so let's resume with the map tour. So we just came down from the ranch onto the road, and yeah, this is going to be your horse paddock area, so we'll have a look at that. Oops, hop and skip, so the dollar box for the animal trigger is here. 
So, 16 horses. Got your equestrian heir to exercise the horses if you wish. Feeding trigger is here. And actually, I do want to purchase some horses, so have a look. So your horses are out here. Eight horses on the inside. Yeah, actually not too bad. All the same coloured horses, but... Do these open? Nope. Fair enough. And yeah, have a little quick look around and... I know I'm waffling on a little bit, like, I will show every detail I can, like, uh, yeah, I know we have some PC players or PC content creators who do the map tours and that, like to fly around all over the map and that, and that's not me, for me, I like to go around the map and just take in all of the main details, so, avoiding the train. So this is your railway side of west, is it? Or east? Uh, close south, east, west, same thing pretty much. So yeah, that's going to be, if you're starting on this map, I'll say this is going to be your main cell, not cell point, but your main store area, because you can go up the hill, and actually I am going to take a detour. So if we go up and along here, this used to be like, my first time playing on this map. Yep, it's like that. Shut my vehicle down. But yeah, like chucking your equipment down hills and even coming up these hills with the, like a lorry now, like a lorry on FS19 or a truck and trader and that was a. It was difficult, it was like. You was really bogged down. It was possible. It wasn't, you know, not possible, but. It was possible just enough to make you want to upgrade equipment quickly. So yeah, we'll head back across. Sorry farmers. And yeah, we're going to be heading to... Oops. Uh, not, this doesn't have really good crash physics. Oh, I just know it's that, but... So yeah, this is your animal dealership and your bell cell point. So if we keep the map up here. So your bell cell point is here. And if we have a look here, so this is gonna be your animal dealership. So you can purchase your cows, sheep, chickens, which will hold 500. Can't remember if I've mentioned that or not. So yeah, that is, I think yeah, pretty much covered the map. Done here, done down there, and yeah, pretty much now, let's just go up to the BGA area, so we'll head up there, and then yeah, I think that's where we'll conclude the map tour, like, this just came out as I'm planning on wrapping up Survival Challenge. Oh, do I do a Let's Play series on this map? That is something I do need to take a serious think about, so... Where is the entrance? I guess it is over here, because we've got the Waybridge. Oh yeah, it looked well, look like a Waybridge, but... Yep, yeah, I've given myself authority. So you've got your two huge bunk side clamps. And yeah, you've got your BGA, so... We go and purchase this. This will cost you... 300 grand, I think it was, so yeah, head over here, bam, 300 grand, so yeah, you don't produce electricity, but you do produce digestate and methane, and digestate, combine that with uh, Missy B's slurry yards, yeah, that is definitely worth it, 300 grand, you can't complain, decent rates as well, What's that? Yeah, 84, about 190,000 litres a month. 48-ish thousand litres there. So yeah, you'll get plenty of methane and digestate. Yeah, we've got good contracts. 
got a bunch of contracts actually huge contracts and yeah as mentioned earlier on you can just go oh no I don't want these bam sell it it does leave some indentations in the ground and you do get half your money back but I say go with level terrain and this is just me having a quick look at it now just go yep level it off and there you go mostly level I think and that is Ravenport 22 thank you Sabuki for bringing this map to FS22 done a awesome job and yeah so by the time I get this edited and rendered it's going to be early in the morning by the time this comes out and by the afternoon hopefully if everything goes to plan or sun Saturday evening I will be releasing a ultimate guide on all of the production chains on this map so yeah that's where I'm going to leave it today and as always hope you enjoyed this map tour if so smash that button feel free to comment down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider but where do you just do hope you enjoy stay but for now this is me Farmer Envoy Extreme and <laughs> I'll see you all uh, very soon